Transparency. $750,000. Transparency. Well, two-thirds of it, more than two-thirds of it, went to the school. Somebody told Brother Lord Jamal that the school cost $400,000. I don't know who told him that lie. But it just goes to show people don't know what the hell they be talking about. So the little bit of chump change that was left, we're trying to stretch that as much as we can to get that electric repaired. We're trying to stretch that as much as we can to get the plumbing repaired. We're trying to stretch that as much as we can to get that fire alarm system repaired. We're trying to stretch that as much as we can to get that sprinkler system repaired. We don't have enough for HVAC. That's the transparency. Transparency is we bought a four building campus with your money. Transparency is with the leftover money we've been paying for the upkeep and security of the campus, as well as the roof repairs. And now we're working on electricity, plumbing, sprinkler system, fire alarm. And the transparency is we will not finish the school if we don't get more donations because we cannot afford the HVAC right now. In fact, I got another HVAC bid today. I got another HVAC bid today. Transparency, let me give you coons some transparency. Guess how much the bid was that I received today for the HVAC plus plumbing because some HVACers are also licensed in plumbing. Some plumbing are also licensed in HVAC. Guess what the quote was I got today? $285,000. To repair the HVAC and the plumbing. Let me give you a little more transparency. HVAC is heating, ven ventilation, and air conditioning. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. On the top of the Marcus Garvey School, there is a large heating and air conditioning unit on the top of the school. I heard it weighs about... I don't know, 500 pounds or something like that. Might be more. Somebody says something like a half ton. I don't know. But it's this large unit that was stripped and vandalized before we bought the school. We have to get a crane. Everybody knows what a crane is? The crane is that construction vehicle that lifts very, I believe they call that the crane, that lifts the very heavy stuff. Like if you got a a statue and you got to raise it up to the top of the roof or something that I think that's called a crane, right? My construction people, the machine that lifts heavy stuff and, and puts it where it needs to go. Well, I was told by the HVACers that we have to get a crane, get the block blocked off, and we got to get the crane to lift up the HVAC unit because it's too heavy. The human being cannot move it. 10 men can't move that unit, I was told. So we got to get the crane to lift up the old unit, bring it down. That's going to cost money. And then we got to pay the crane to come back, put the new unit and put it on top. That's just for the small school. And you can't have the small school without the small gym. So on the small gym, we have a heating unit, but it didn't have an air condition with it. So we got to get the crane to take that off the side of the small gym, the Nat Turner gym. And then we got to put the new unit on it. And let me also let you guys know this. The unit for the gym is going to be more expensive than the old unit because the old unit was only heat. It didn't have AC. The old unit was only heat. It didn't have AC. The old unit was only heat. It didn't have AC. So the new unit is going to cost more money because it's going to be AC plus heat. And in order to operate the new unit, we have to run an additional line of electricity from the small school to the small gym because the new unit is going to require more power to operate than the old unit. So the, we got to pay the electrician to run a new line to make sure the new heating and cooling unit on the side of the small gym can operate with enough power. That's coming straight from the engineers. That's coming, you know, the ones we paid $25,000 to get the plans reviewed and upgraded. Transparency, $25,000 to the engineering firm 
to upgrade the plans that were done back in 2011, Mr. and Mrs. Transparency. So what is going to happen right now, Dr. Umar? I'm going to exhaust all of our funds. I'm telling you right now, transparency. I'm going to exhaust all of our remaining funds on the electric, the fire alarm, the sprinkler alarm, and possibly the plumbing if we have anything left. I'm going to exhaust all the funds. We will go down to zero. Okay? And once we get to zero... That school will sit there until we raise the 200 plus thousand needed to repair the HVAC. Okay. And the reason I'm saying 200 plus is every HVAC estimate I've gotten. I've gotten three or four. Every HVAC estimate I've gotten, none of them have been less than 200 plus thousand dollars. None of them. We got 285, we got like 250. So no matter how you look at it, brothers and sisters, no matter how you look at it, thank you, Sister Peaches, no matter how you look at it, brothers and sisters, no matter how you look at it, we got to raise 200K to finish the small school. You want some transparency, there you go. Now, let me clear up something else. I don't know how. Ain't no transparency left. You just got it all right there. We're going to spend the last penny on electric, sprinkler, fire, maybe plumbing if we can afford it. But the HVAC, we have, don't have enough money for that. We have nothing for that once we pay for the other systems. So that school will sit until we raise 200 and at least $40,000 for the HVAC system. That's why I started the Loyal Donor Club because I don't want us to stop once we start renovations. That's why I started the Loyal Donors Club because I don't want us to stop once we start renovations. Brothers and sisters, please do bronze. Let's do bronze. Who got their calculator? I need my mathematicians. Get your calculators out, mathematicians. Here's my question to the mathematicians. Today is October what? 8th? Let's go October 8th to December 8th. Let's go October 8th to December 8th. Eight weeks. Get your calculators out. Here's my question. How many people do we need to donate $50 a month to raise $250,000 by December the 8th? In other words, if they sign up now, they'll donate $50 in October They'll donate $50 in November, and then we'll get a third $50 from them if they start today. If y'all start today, that's a donation for October. You get another $50 in November, another $50 on December the 8th. So, so that's $150 a person. I want you to divide $150 into $250,000. How many people do we need to subscribe to the Loyal Donors Club at the $50 bronze level before midnight tonight. I need an answer. I'm going to say it again. Get your calculators out. I'm asking y'all to help Dr. Umar. Since y'all want to help so much, somebody says 1666. Somebody else said 4,000. I think I got to do some special ed evaluation. Somebody else said 1,300. Come on, people. Is it 1666? Let me, let me, let me ask the question again. If you sign up tonight, as a bronze, I hope you do silver, I hope you do gold, but let's say you come in at bronze, $50 a month. If you donate tonight, October 8th, automatic donation, November 8th, automatic donation, December 8th, 50, 50, 50 is 150. One person equals $150, right? Divide 150 into 250,000. How many people need to subscribe as a $50 loyal donor club tonight, okay, for us to have $250,000 on December 8th, which is two months from now. How many people do we need? Okay, it looks like 1667. Somebody says 1700. Let's just say between, let's make it 1700. Let's make it 1700. 
We need seven. We ain't going to get 1,700 people tonight. Well, let me not say that. I have 1,000 people watching on Instagram. I have 295 people watching on Facebook. So if we round this up to about 1,500, if you guys would join the Bronze Club tonight, if you're watching me on Instagram now, and if you're watching me on Facebook now, if you can join Bronze tonight to help us finish the school, please do that right now. Text me for the link or scroll down my Facebook, you will find it. Scroll down my Twitter, you will find it. Scroll down my Instagram, you will find it. Scroll down my Facebook, you will find it. Scroll down my Twitter, you will find it. Scroll down my Facebook and click and sign up. And make sure you click. Make this a monthly donation. There's a box that says make this a monthly donation. Click that box. And then after you subscribe, after you subscribe as a loyal donor club member, screenshot your registration receipt. Text your registration receipt to me through WhatsApp and I will add you into the Loyal Donors Club WhatsApp group. We have a Loyal Donors Club WhatsApp group. We have a Loyal Donors Club WhatsApp group. We have a Loyal Donors Club WhatsApp group. And you will be added into that, whether you are bronze, silver, gold, platinum, or diamond. Everybody goes into the WhatsApp group, and it is in the WhatsApp group where I will be giving you all the answers to the questions that the haters want to know. And guess what, Loyal Donors Club? You will be the first to walk into the school once it's done. There will be a special reception and tour for all members of the Loyal Donors Club. Club And then right after the loyal donors, right after the loyal donors are all of our random donors. So the loyal donors will take the first tour. First people in will be the loyal donors club. Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond. And then right after them on the same day, right after them on the same day will be the random donors. That is everybody who have donated from the first day, spring of 2014, until the last day, which I hope will be New Year's Day of 2021. That is my hope. That is my hope. And please, if you really support Dr. Umar, try to influence somebody in your life to become a loyal donor. Sisters, influence your husband. Husbands, influence your queen. Parents influence your adult children. Are y'all following me? Influence somebody in your frat. Influence somebody in your sorority. Say, listen, listen. I see how you dress. I see how much you spend on your clothes. I see where you live. I see how you drive. You spend $50 on lunch every day. Give Dr. Umar $50 for them boys. Come on. You can't give that man $50 a month. How much you spend on your nails? How much you spend on your haircut? How much you spend to get the gray dot out your hair? How much you spend at the strip clubs? How much you spend at the restaurants? How much you spend? Come on now. You can't give Dr. Umar $50 a month for the boys. Brothers and sisters. I'm looking forward to Harlem. Friday, October the 30th. I'm looking forward to Harlem. Friday, October the 30th. I'm looking forward to Harlem. Friday, October the 30th. Two until eight. Please come out. Get your book signed. Get your book signed. Brothers and sisters. And then Atlanta, November 19th at the Comedic Skills Yoga Club on Ralph David Avenue. November 19th, Atlanta. I can't wait. It's been two years, Atlanta. I can't wait. Nat Turner Land, November the 11th. Drewyville, Virginia, Nat Turner Land. Come get your book, Norfolk. Come get your book, Hampton. Come get your book, Richmond. Come get your book, Jack, uh, excuse me, 
Fort Lauderdale, Florida, December the 10th. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, December the 10th. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, December the 10th. 10-year anniversary. Come get your book. I want to address somebody. And I want to do this in all respect because I respect this brother. And I want him to know I respect him before I say this. We have to learn how to respect each other. Brother Dawa Yisrael of Chicago was the brother who invited me to Chicago to do the interview on September the 18th that launched me into the international spotlight. I have always mentioned that brother's name. I have always called on Brother Dawa and said thank you for 10 years. For 10 years, I told everyone it was Brother Dawa who invited me to, to do the interview. He didn't fly me up there. He didn't put me in a hotel, but he invited me to the platform. And I thank him then. I thank him now. But Brother Dawa, I did not appreciate the post that you put under the Nick Cannon class podcast interview that he did with me. You said you're the brother that invited Dr. Umar there and he didn't mention my name and Nick Cannon should have asked him who I was and I got receipts. Brother, you don't need receipts because the whole world knows your name because I taught it to them. The whole world knows your name, Dawa, because I taught it to them. So are you telling me that after 10 years of me thanking you for what you did? After 10 years, 10 straight years, a whole decade of recognizing you as the one who invented, who invited me to the interview. And you're telling me because I don't mention your name no more. That means I'm dismissing you or discounting you or hiding you. Who do you know mention somebody's every time for 10 years, brother? I'm not going to mention you this decade because I'm tired of doing it. I've done it, brother. They know who you are. And I'm, I'm disappointed that you felt the need to put that post on there as if I was disrespecting you when I have done nothing but shout you out for 10 straight years, brother. I'm disappointed in you. I just want to say that, brother, because I don't have your number. I don't have no way to contact you. Or you understand, I don't follow nobody on social networks. So I just want to put that out there, brother. That was not necessary. I don't think you needed to do that. I don't think you needed to do that. I don't think you needed to do that. And for the record, I got enough people trying to take credit for me being me. I got enough people trying to take credit for me being me. I got enough people for trying to take credit for me being me, brother. I thank you for what you did, but you didn't make me. There's a lot of people I thank for what they did. Nobody made me. I am here on assignment from the ancestors. That's why my name is Ifa Tunde. I am here on assignment by the ancestors. And my name is Ifa Tunde. We're not at war. I'm just letting my brother know he didn't have to do that because I think I have more than shown respect and humility for him inviting me to the Chicago September 18, 2010 interview. I think I've done that for 10 years. I don't think I have to say his name the rest of my life. I do not think I have to say his name for the rest of my life. There's a lot of people I've helped. There's a lot of people I have helped. I just wanted to say that. Brothers and sisters, I've kept you guys pretty long. I hope you get on your cash app. I hope you get on your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Don't call nobody no half breed. Don't call nobody no half breed. Don't call nobody that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. If that mixed race brother identifies with us, he family. If that mixed race sister identifies with us, she family. I don't accept Barack Obama because he only identified with us for political reasons. I don't accept Kamala Harris because she identified with us for political reasons. But if a brother or sister is mixed race and they identify with us, they family. That is the rule for FDMG. Don't come to my school and disrespect somebody because you will be banned for life. You will be added to the book of Negroes. You will be added to the book of Negroes. You will be added to the book of Negroes. 
You will be added to the book of Negroes. Do not come in my school disrespecting light skin, disrespecting dark skin, disrespecting mixed race. We are one family. I will not tolerate it. I will not tolerate it. I will not tolerate it. I want to be clear. Make sure you get your resumes in, FDMG resumes at Gmail. FDMG, I'm telling you, once we finish this campus, once we finish, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm saying it, I'm claiming it. Wilmington, Delaware will be the new Black Wall Street. Wilmington, Delaware will be the new Black Wall Street. Wilmington, Delaware will be the new Black Wall Street. For those of you who have ordered the book, for those of you who have ordered the book, I've been working on the books and I'm telling you now, we just about ran out of the leftover books from Detroit and Chicago. I'm waiting on my new book order to continue the pre-orders. We have about 300 pre-orders. I can't get them all out at once. It's impossible. It's a thick book. It's a 600 pager, 560 pages. We waiting on the new order. Okay. The first hundred will be shipping this week. The first hundred We'll be shipping this week, this weekend, tomorrow's Friday. I'll be going to the post office. The first hundred will be gone. The first hundred will be gone. Next week, hopefully I have the book. We're going to do another hundred. I'm working on it. Be patient. If you want your money back, go back to PayPal. Get your money back. Okay? My $35 purchasers. And then you're going to have to pay 70 when you reorder it. I'm working as hard as I can. I hope you can be patient. I did not miss Philly. We will be doing a Philly book release. We will be doing a Jersey book release. But right now I'm focusing on the 10 year anniversaries. I'm focusing on the 10 year anniversaries. Chicago, New York, Atlanta, Nat Turner Land, Fort Lauderdale. Chicago, New York, Atlanta, Nat Turner, Fort Lauderdale. You don't need a ticket to come to the book signing. It's a book signing. You don't need a ticket to come to the book signing. It's a book signing. You don't need a ticket to come to the book signing. You just come to the book signing. $50 at the book signing, $60 online, plus $10 to ship. $50 for, at a book signing, $60 online, plus $10 to ship. If you need consultations for your children, life coaching for yourself, if you need consultations for your children or life coaching for yourself, reach out. You can email or text 215-989-9858, I'm going to need an army of secretaries soon. I'm going to need an army of secretaries really soon. To help me with a variety of different initiatives related to Team Pan-African. And I will keep you all posted on that. So with that being said, I'm going to go and work on these book orders some more before it gets too late. And I wish you all a good evening. And I want to say thank you to all my donors. Thank you to all my supporters. Thanks to the encouraging letters, the encouraging gifts. Thank you to the encouraging texts. Thank you for the encouraging emails. I value all of you. I love all of you, even my haters, okay? They do not know what they do, okay? Every Christ has to go through his persecution. Every Christ has to go through his persecution, brothers and sisters. So take the good with the bad. Don't strive to be happy. Strive to have peace of mind. If you want to sign up for the Dr. Papa podcast, you can text me for that. Screenshot the receipt and you will be added to the podcast group. If you want to sign up for the Dr. Papa podcast, text me for the link. Screenshot the receipt. You will get all of the back episodes. You will get all of the back episodes. We're up to number 19 or 20 now. Okay. You will get all the back episodes and if you screenshot the receipt and text it to me in WhatsApp, you'll be added to the Dr. Papa podcast WhatsApp chat. Just like when you sign up for the Loyal Donors Club, you'll be added to the exclusive Loyal Donors Club chat. And you guys will be the only ones to get the inside scoop on the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy 
renovations. Brother.